This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 12, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index is down today by 0.49 points or 0.12% to 408.58. Total trade volume was light but once again higher than yesterday, with 180,594 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 638.9 million Khmer real or roughly 155,000 US dollars. On the main board, only two shares were up. Grand Twins International, which was up 1.32% or 30 real to 2,310 real per share, and the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port, up 0.46% or 60 real to 13,160 real per share. Three stocks, Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ, Akleda Bank, and ChemGSM, remained flat, while the rest of the main board was down. The biggest percentage loser of the day was again Pestec Cambodia, down 2.28% or 50 real to 2,140 real per share, followed by the Sienegville Autonomous Port, which was down 0.65% or 80 real to 12,220 real per share. On the growth board, both companies saw their stock prices drop. DBD Engineering was down 1.30% and JS Land was down 2.57%. Grand Twins International was a stock that saw the most trades today, with 111,923 shares changing hands at a total value of 236.7 million real or 57,500 US dollars, accounting for around 45% of all shares traded. DBD Engineering's trade volume was down from yesterday but still remained in second place, with 63,575 shares changing hands at a value of 145 million real or 35,225 US dollars. In other business news, IG Tech Cambodia, a fintech and banking technology developer, announced a strategic partnership with global banking as a service and digital banking provider MBank to create IG FinLink Cambodia. The strategic partnership marks MBank's entry into ASEAN's banking technology markets as the 2016-founded company with its headquarters in the United States looks to offer comprehensive banking-as-a-service solutions across Southeast Asia, starting in Cambodia and expanding into Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia and Vietnam. The company will offer digital banking technology to financial institutions, provide customized and localized digital banking solutions for banks, as well as embedded finance solutions for brands. The Khmer Real to USD exchange rate remained the same at 4,116 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly down once again to 105.21. Similar to our Tuesday report, oil prices ticked higher on Wednesday amid upbeat global demand views from the U.S. Energy Information Administration and OPEC, reinforced by industry data showing U.S. crude oil inventories fell more than expected last week. The U.S. Energy Information Administration raised its 2024 world oil demand growth forecast to 1.10 million barrels per day from a previous estimate of 900,000 barrels per day, while OPEC maintained its 2024 forecast for relatively strong growth in global oil demand, citing expectations for travel and tourism in the second half. Brent crude futures rose 50 cents or 0.6% to 82.42 U.S. dollars a barrel. Global gold prices remained flat on Wednesday as investors are awaiting the U.S. May inflation report and the Federal Reserve's policy announcement. As of around the time of the Cambodian market's closing, spot gold was nearly unchanged at $2,312.69 US dollars per ounce, while U.S. gold futures saw a slight increase of 0.1% to $2,329.30 US dollars. Over in Southeast Asia, much closer to home, industry officials report that Vietnam could begin to allow companies to import gold for the first time in over a decade, as it aims to bridge the widening gap between local prices and international benchmarks. The Vietnam Gold Traders Association has been in protracted talks with the government over measures to correct the imbalance in supply and demand of gold. This aligns with wider reports from experts that emerging economies in Asia continue to see a rise in gold consumption, with Singapore expected to become a leading gold trading hub in the East. Global stocks rose on Wednesday, helped by positive sentiments in the technology sector. European markets rose, recovering some of the losses earlier this week, stemming from nervousness over the political landscape in France, where President Emmanuel Macron called a snap vote at the weekend after his party lost to the far-right party of Marine Le Pen in the European Union elections. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 43 points or 0.1 percent, S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 futures also ticked up by 0.1 percent. This was Darshan Agauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 12th.